morning. We are actually in the parking structure attached to the Kellogg Arena right now. And as you guys can see, there is already quite a line of people. Some of these people have actually been camping outside of here since last night. So more and more people are coming out this morning, but there's expected to be 10,000 people at the Kellogg Arena this morning. And inside, they can only hold 6,000 people. So the city says they are doing everything they can to make sure that they are prepared. The World Health Association says that measles is making a comeback, and that could be a sign of resurgence of even more diseases. Met some families. This is a tradition that have been doing this like for 15 some year. This is yeah. the 27th year of the race. Yeah, but it's been so much fun. Such a great way to kick off Thanksgiving. So over 30 hours, unfortunately, those rescues officials telling me that they are no longer calling this a rescue mission, but a recovery mission, making the 16 year old Eliza the first drowning in West Michigan for 2020. An apartment fire in Las Vegas taking the lives of six people Saturday morning. Merry Christmas Eve, West Michigan. We are hanging out at Meyer with the head elf himself. Merry Christmas. Ooh, I like that. Like a it? large curd or a small curd? Like small. What oh, kind of curd oh, do you oh, prefer? You too. <laughs> Both the Democrats and the Republicans have already named Michigan as a battleground state for 2020. Back in 2016, President Trump won Michigan by just 10,000 votes. Now, as far as today, there you go. The event tonight is expected to take place at 7 p.m. That is when President Trump will begin speaking. Some of these people, like I said, have been here all night long. This gentleman, actually, you told us you came all the way from Chicago. So, Avery Nicole, let's. This is good. I'm gonna let go. Okay. Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go higher than that. I gotta go higher. <laughs> yeah, you can come out here. You guys go yeah. higher. You know, Adam Schiff has some answers to he's gonna have to give. Right. Don't you think? Sir, thank you so much. We appreciate thank your time. You. There is going to be a lot to hear today as President Trump comes to West Michigan. This is gonna be a monumental day. We will be here live for the entire thing. We're now live in Battle Creek, Sarah Grimmer for Fox 17. Time Magazine. 24-7 Wall Street, vacationrenter.com. They've all listed the small town of Frankenmuth as one of the most Christmassy towns in America. Now we know that that's true, but how did this all come to be? The St. Joseph County Sheriff's Office is looking for a missing man. Social media personality Jeffree Star is donating $20,000 to a local GoFundMe page, helping the family of a victim of an alleged murder. They are competing for the Food Fight Friday Trophy. Today, Bronner's is the size of one and a half football fields. I mean, that's plenty of space to house their over 50,000 Christmas decorations. We get it. It is a lot to shop through you're probably going to get hungry. Good thing this town slogan is. So they're known for chicken and Christmas primarily. We have chicken and Christmas, that's kind of our thing. <laughs> it's now been 35 hours since anyone has seen her left. Cade is very scarred physically and emotionally. We were actually able to speak with his grandmother who is out here right now looking for Eliza. Here's what she had to say about the type of girl that Eliza was. Reporting and crying on the inside just a little bit. Ron Allegan, I'm Sarah Grimmer for Fox 17 News. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!